I met Robert from Arachnid at Spring Meltdown. It was a music festival up in Lake Tahoe, and he sponsored it with his Arachnid Cabinet Company. So the full backline of the show was Arachnid Cabinets. Robert came into the equation because Anthony had said that uh, these cabs sounded amazing. He takes a band's artwork, logo, just about anything you could think of, and he just puts it on the cabinet. It's really unlike any other company, you know, because there's so many great amp companies out there, but they're very simple. It's just logo and, you know, simple mesh, but he has splatters, artwork, and as soon as I saw them, I instantly had this idea where if we wanted to switch out the artwork for every tour, or say we have an album, we put the artwork on, the cab and then the next tour okay we've got new artwork let's swap that in so then swap out the artwork and then keep the artwork up to date he did an incredible job i asked him about it he's like well that's actually never been done before i've never done it and but he started talking about it he started brainstorming talking about like well if i if i design it like this make it removable you guys could swap it out i think it could work so i was like okay cool so then once we started getting the process going of designing these, these cabinets we were amazed with how he really brought it together, being that it was the first time that he had ever had it uh, been done. We pretty much sent him our design, what we wanted, our specifications. I know on mine, I wanted colors, I wanted it to light up when I played, uh, I wanted it to look badass, and he pretty much gave me my dream cabinet. I mean, it's, I couldn't ask for anything better. You know, he sent me updates, he sent me updates of like the wood that he got, he kept me updated to the process. Hey Anthony, what's up man? I figured I'd take a quick video. I'm here at my uh, lumber supply house, Royal Plywood, gotta love them. Sacramento represent. There you go, sir. There are your four sheets of BB stain grade Baltic birch. Best stuff in the business, man. You get cracking today. Peace, brother. Steven and I went on a trip to Sacramento. We met up with Robert. I, I was working on his band's music video, and while we were there, we were able to see the, the cabs just like bare naked. Like there was no speakers, there was no hardware. It was just the wood frame, and and we got to see him sanding, and it was just really incredible to see to see your cab in that you know, going through the process. something you yeah. got to see where your cabs are at and you got to play something you got to see the process of what it looks like before your cabs get to that phase yeah. he said he had met you and he told me to check out the cab company he was because we're like going over our gear list of like okay so this is what my future purchases are because we always do stuff like that and we're like yeah so this is what i'm thinking of getting 
like you should check it out i'm like all right and i had mentioned like mesa and he's like well i think i'm gonna get my cabs built by this this uh, company erected so i checked it out and then i read all those reviews and everything and then i found your youtube page and watched all that i'm like yeah dude, if you're gonna do it let me know i'll do it too yeah i mean like when around that time when that festival was happening that's when i was thinking about getting a mesa oh yeah and i was even telling him about it but then like once i saw um uh, like I met you and I heard about what you were doing, but then when I was there and I like saw the setup like yeah. in the back line, I was just like, holy shit, like that's crazy. And then they sounded really good. And then I just started thinking ahead. I was like, damn, we could do this and this and then. It was just really incredible to see the cabs just like becoming a reality, you know, seeing your idea come become a reality. And then, so we got the opportunity to witness that on the trip. Once they were done, uh, about a month later, he delivered the cabs and Stephen and I were just like practically speechless just to see the cabs like finally done and seeing everything just like right there in front of you after you've been like designing it and figuring out how it's going to work. And he was really proud of what he created. Hey guys, Rob here with Arachnid Cabinets and this is Anthony Ortiz's cabinet specifically. This is the first of its kind due to request of a removable mesh front. Now the philosophy behind this was bands evolve, bands art changes, and usually these are permanent fixtures and I would tell people make sure you go with something that is strongly symbolic that I'll be happy with forever. But working musicians change art constantly. So I made these to where they're snug enough what I would call a temporary permanent fixture to where they'll stay in place but they will come out. So the whole point is so when the time comes Anthony can send this mesh back to me with the frame I could redo everything, art, all the binding, and he still has a usable cabinet that is still branded while he plays in gigs. That way he doesn't feel like his cab's useless and it is bare speakers, nothing protected. So it is a mesh on top of a mesh. We couldn't be happier with how they came out. It's remarkable how it sounds how it plays, just everything about it. It's been awesome. My cab sounds amazing. It's perfect to my specs that I wanted. You guys, if you don't have an arachnid cabinet yet, you need one.